When I was in high school, I had this knack for drawing symbols on my hand and wrist and on my notebooks. Sometimes it would be a crown, like my tattoo now, reminding me that the kingdom of God is at hand. Other times it would be a sword, reminding me to be strong and courageous. Other times it would be a prism, reminding me that we're all prisms called by God to refract His light onto the world in all different colors, all different careers, all different skill sets, all different circles and aspects of impact. But there was one symbol that I made up myself, and that's this one. It meant not home. It wasn't an emo kind of, no one loves me, no one understands me, I don't have a home or a family kind of symbol. It was more, my home is in heaven. My home is the city that my Creator and Heavenly Father is preparing for me. Therefore, whenever I experience brokenness, pain, loss, and trials here in this world, it's a reminder that I'm not home, not yet. And I should keep my eyes on Jesus, who leads the way and is the way to my home. C.S. Lewis has this quote, If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. I don't know how many others feel this, but this is a truth that rings deep in my bones. I tend to forget, I tend to break down when the brokenness of the world overwhelms me. But whenever I remember the truth in the Bible behind this symbol, my gaze returns to the heavens. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that's to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning together in pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, Christians who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. In this hope, we were saved.